morning. Tomorrow is Memorial Day, and this is going to be our opportunity to take a moment and recognize that. And so what is Memorial Day is the first thing we need to ask. You know, is it a day to recognize the beginning of summer, have a barbecue? Is it a day to uh, go out and get a good sale on a car or a refrigerator? Well, those are things that can happen that day. But the real reason that we remember it is to remember those that have gone before us in the military and given their lives in defense of this country. It is not the day to remember me. I retired in the Marine Corps in 2011 and moved here to be closer to family because the agreement with Juliet was first 20 years, she goes where I go, second 20, it's up to her. So we moved here and I spent 24 years in the Marine Corps. I had a lot of great friends, but tomorrow's not my day, that's Veterans Day. Tomorrow is Memorial Day to remember all the guys that I knew who never made it home. And in those 24 years, I could probably fill up five rows of people that I knew personally that didn't make it back. And only about one row were people that died in combat. So it happens all the time. And less than 1% of the American population is in the military at this time. All right, so it's a very small number of people that absorb a huge amount of loss. And the reason that that loss is so tragic is those are incomplete lives. My mom passed away last year, and she had a complete life. She saw me grow up, she met Juliet, she got to hold her grandkids, she spent 50 years with my dad, all right, traveled all over the place. Everybody that dies in the military dies young, and they lead an incomplete life. No one, well, not no one, but very few people in the military get to see their grandkids. Nobody gets to spend 50 years with their wives or their husbands. Everyone is cut down to the prime of their life, and that's why we have to remember them. And also because of the fact that we are separated by the fact that the bases, a lot of bases have been shut down, so there's not military all over the place like there used to be. They're pretty much concentrated on the East Coast and the West Coast. So here in the middle, there's a couple bases here and there, but a lot of you might not even know anybody that's in the military, and so you're disconnected from them. That happened to me when we moved here to someone that I knew that was killed. All right, he died in a helicopter crash in Camp Pendleton. And he and his wife and his little baby girl were the last people that Juliet and I went and had dinner with before we moved here. So we move here, we're getting all settled in, and I get the news that he's killed. And it's tragic, but I'm, I'm not gonna say that I, I wasn't sad at the time, but I've got things to do here, just like you all have things to do. And it wasn't until I traveled all the way up to Galesburg, Illinois, and went through the reception line at his funeral, and I met his brother, his mom, his dad, and it wasn't until I stood in front of Heather, his wife, that it sunk in that he was gone. And he was a friend of mine. So that's why it's important, because a lot of you don't even know anybody in the military. All these names come out of people that die. You don't know any of them. But it's time for us to remember them and say and make a statement saying, I will remember that person, and I will honor the sacrifice that they gave. All right? And if you see somebody that's in the military tomorrow, please, don't thank them for their service. They don't want to hear that, because they know it's not their day. If you see somebody that you know is in the military, ask them. Tell me about somebody that didn't make it. Because every one of them has got stories. And every one of them wants to remember those people that didn't make it. And they want to tell you about it so you can remember as well. So if you can all pray with me for a moment. Lord, I ask you to bless the memory of these men and women that have gone before us. And be with those who have been left behind. The mothers, fathers, sisters, brothers. Who will spend the rest of their life missing that person that sacrificed their life and is no longer here to be with them. And I ask you to comfort them and give them peace tomorrow, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you.